Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build on this channel. So today I thought I'd do kind of an interesting build. I normally go for, I guess this is a bit of an actual build, but I normally go for like your typical kind of suburban or modern house, like very normal residential stuff that you'd see about the place you live or maybe not, I don't know, but it's kind of a typical house for me and I thought I'd go a bit out of my comfort zone and make a very strange barn build. <laughs> uh, so basically I got inspiration from a picture I saw on Twitter somewhere. I'm really bad because I can't remember where or what it was about or like who it was from, but basically it was a Sims 4 lot with terrain paint that made it look like there were little crop fields like on a farm and it got me thinking you know what would be really fun making a barn house but instead of having it as a barn on the inside because it's a bit boring and not the most functional thing in the sims like as much as it would be a cool lot to look at when i build things i kind of want them to be functional and people would actually use them in the game so i decided to make a cool combo of a residential family house as well as a barn so i just kind of built it as a barn house renovation so a family were living on a barn and decided to take the barn house no take the barn and make it into a house there we go um so yeah i just kind of wanted to make the interior very cozy and cute and very old and traditional kind of like what people would say is like very like a grandma kind of house i guess like a grandparents house like very cozy and cute with lots of patterns and things like that and that was kind of the vibe i wanted to go for so this is a hell of a long speed build, so do get comfy if you're gonna watch all the way through, which I do recommend because, um, yeah, it's, it's a really cool build. I'm, I was really excited about it. I think it came together very well, um, but I have skipped some of like the wallpaper placement and the window placement just to save you guys a few minutes of your time. Um, but yeah, here we are building the kitchen, which was very cute. I made it quite a massive wraparound kitchen with lots of cupboards and lots of little bits of bowls with um, a nice island counter with uh, an area to have kind of a little breakfast bar section. Um, I try to use kind of old looking wooden furniture pieces like these counters and the cabinets above and just making it really cute with little flowers and stuff and almost put a plant pot on top of the stove, <laughs> definitely not intentional. Um, and yeah, I ended up actually using a medium wall height, which I never do. So I thought that was very fun to experiment with. It's kind of nicer for counters, not counters, cabinets. Why do I always mix the two up? I don't know, <laughs> but um, I really like using medium wall heights actually with cabinets. It makes kitchens a lot more easy to style with windows because I feel like otherwise it looks strange if you have the cabinets overlapping the windows. So this kind of helped. So top tip with Charlotte apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just furnished um, this kitchen with like some cute little paintings and stuff, some nice bunting, um, just like very... I don't know, the vibe I was going for was like very homemade and cute and like DIY and just like a nice little country farmhouse. That that was the vibe anyway. Um, and yeah, I really liked this kitchen. The wallpaper was a very interesting choice. I feel like with this build, I used a lot of things that I don't normally go for because it's very old fashioned and I don't really use that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, there must be a name for the style I'm building in, like very old traditional there's some sort of decade associated with it but I'm not even going to try and put one in and, and absolutely fail with it um and also I'm really proud of myself I actually put curtains in it I'm really trying to push myself to use curtains in the sims 4 because I want like house even though they're not functional the actual curtains in the sims 4 I want them to look functional also I was going to put a ladder in there but then I thought it'd be a bit weird having a family house with the whole upstairs when there's loads of rooms up there to be accessible only by a ladder like it's a bit strange in a residential house I don't know why uh but it would have kind of made sense in terms of it being like an old renovated barn but I went for some nice stairs this was quite a big family house to be honest uh I think there was three bedrooms in total and one being what could be a two-person bedroom but I kind of made it for like a child slash teenager or two teenagers and two children depending on what you wanted to use it for and then a couple of two people which I thought was nice so there was a lot of room to play with for sure because I guess barns tend to be quite big and like empty tall buildings so there definitely was a lot of room to use and make use of which was exciting one thing I felt was really fun about making this build was I pre-planned like all the different rooms and things 
things, which I don't actually normally do. Uh, I feel like I don't really have to because normally I don't make massive builds. So it's maximum two story normally and maximum two bedrooms. And that's like really pushing it for me. Like I'm very like tuned to going straight for like a two bedroom house, not a two bedroom house, a two person house with one bedroom. Like I think that's normally because Generally, like majority of the time I play with two people maximum, if not normally one, and then I marry someone into the family when playing The Sims 4. So I guess I'm just not used to building big stuff. So it was definitely really helpful to plan everything ahead. Like I was like, okay, this is gonna be bedroom, so the bathroom should be here and all of that. And it was fun like furnishing it that way. I found it really, really exciting. And I don't know, I sound super nerdy right now. I'm like, oh my God, it was so exciting to furnish this barn. <laughs> oh, and the fact that it's a barn is just making me laugh. I don't know why. It's just so out of the blue. Like I don't know how my brain works when coming up for ideas. It's super, super random. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll give you a bit of a life update. Not, I mean, that sounds a bit deep, but like just an update on how things are going in terms of like my channel and stuff like that. Uh, so basically something really exciting is I've started streaming on Twitch more regularly, which I feel like I've been banging on about so much. Uh, but I did a really cool Sims 4 build challenge stream, which I think I was gonna edit it down and make it a video, but it was like a two hour stream, like accidentally. Like when I tell you I take ages making builds, oh my God, like build challenges aren't even meant to take that long. And I was like <laughs> going ham, like I did a pride style, um, every room is a different color challenge. I was going to make it so I filtered it so only really colorful um, colors were used, but I ended up having a few like dismal, not very bright colors, but it was definitely really fun. And that's on my Twitch. If you guys want to check it out, it's twitch.com slash Miss Charlotte, I think. Yeah, look at me be professional and knowing the link. I really not sure actually, but that's brilliant. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to, um, I was about to say twitching more, streaming more. I'm doing a Call of Duty stream today as it will be a Wednesday. Um, and that will be at 8 p.m. tonight, BST. So if you guys wanna come hang out with me and some of my friends whilst we play Call of Duty, that'd be really cool and fun. And majority of the time I'll be doing like Sims 4 streams, but maybe like some Planet Zoo, which I'm definitely bringing back to this channel, by the way, for those of you who are missing it. Um, I'm gonna start a new Planet Zoo series, which is exciting because I really, really love that game. And also I might stream some Planet Coaster, to be honest, because I've had that for ages and I haven't played it for a while and it's such a fun, silly game. Um, so yeah, lots of stream ideas coming soon if you guys wanna check it out. Um, and also why not follow my Twitter? I'm being like such a plug right now. I'm like, follow this and follow this. But it's only if you're interested in keeping up to date with stuff, which is cool. On to the more exciting news in my opinion. It has been a long time coming, but if any of you have watched any of my videos where I'm live playing something, so not a speed build because when I do a speed build, I record the build, speed it up and then commentate over afterwards. But any of my like Sims Let's Play episodes or my Surviving Mars or Planet Zoo, any of that, you will hear my voice and this awful loud clacking because of my keyboard. I have like an Amazon Basics keyboard, same with my mouse, because when I was building my PC, which I think was like a year ago, actually, I'm not sure now, I think it's about a year ago. Um, everything in terms of like, um, keyboards and mouse, I was gonna say mice. I only have one, one mouse and my monitors, I got like really basic stuff. Um, but I got this really loud Amazon Basics mechanical keyboard and it's beautiful and it's got LED lights that flash and stuff, but oh my God, it's so, so loud. But finally, I have decided to get a new keyboard. It's the Razer, oh wow, I don't even know the name. I think it's the Razer Sinosa Chroma. I mean, I'm probably battering the name of that and pronouncing it wrong, definitely. And I'm really excited. Um, It'll be coming today, actually, the day I've uploaded this. So very exciting. So hopefully the quality of my audio is going to be a little bit better without so much background noise of my keyboard Um, because I love my mic. It's wonderful and it's great, but it just, it picks up that keyboard so loud. So apologies for that if you guys have had to enjoy or that painful experience when watching my videos because I definitely know that my friends have when I'm on Discord with them and trying to play a game and they're like, who is banging on a typewriter? <laughs> That's literally what people say. They say it sounds just like a typewriter. So hopefully that will be 
far gone by the next time I post a video. <laughs> so that's very exciting news. But anyway, back to our speed build. So we're finally at the top of the house renovating. Uh, so we had a massive, massive corridor with a little lounge space in the corner. I was gonna make it just a seating area and then I was like, you know what, let's throw a TV in there, why not? Um, but just working on the um, main bedrooms bathroom here. Uh, the ensuite, there we go, that's what it's called, uh, which I really liked. Uh, there was a lot of space to play around with and I feel like I'm getting a bit better at using massive space, um, just like throwing a massive rug in there. <laughs> that's like my classic go-to. But yeah, I, I'm really enjoying renovating, not renovating, building bathrooms recently. I feel like normally I don't take too much time and just like shot a toilet, a sink and a chair in there and I'm like, oh yeah, that's me done for the day. <laughs> but I've been definitely trying to do a lot more with them and yeah so now moving on to the main bedroom I really wanted to use this four poster bed I wish there were more of them there's literally just this one from the packs I have there's this one and then there's the island living one which kind of is like a half four poster bed I mean that's two posters isn't it also it's not called posters have I just had a realization it's not a four poster bed it's a four poster bed isn't it oh my god Am I having a realization here? I feel like I do this so much. I'll say a word and I'll say it ages and ages and like over and over again. And then I'll realize I'm just mispronouncing it or I'm saying a completely different word from what it's meant to be. Oh God. But anyway, one of these lovely beds with massive posts at all four corners with lovely curtains. I wish there were more of these because I feel like it really nailed the style I was going for. Like very traditional and very pretty and picturesque and gorgeous. I really like these beds. I used to really, really want one when I was younger. I was like, mom, I'm gonna have a four post bed when I'm older and it's gonna have beautiful fairy lights everywhere and pretty curtains and I'm gonna feel like a little princess because that was me when I was younger apparently. Definitely not the same anymore. Although I probably would love a four post bed at this age, I'm not gonna lie. Also, just to pop this in, which is like, editing, editing Charlotte, who's like we're watching back the voiceover and then editing some more apparently. I just realized it is a four poster bed. So panic over. I was like, oh my God, I've been saying this wrong my entire life, but it's a four poster bed. So anyway, back to whatever I was talking about. Also something I wanted to propose the idea on because I'm so open to people offering video ideas because as much as I wanna post stuff that I really enjoy making, I also want you guys to enjoy the videos too, of course. So it might be fun if you guys suggest some things that you wanna watch and then I can make a few, which will be fun. It's fun time for everyone in that case. Um, but renovations um I don't know how good I'll be at them I haven't really renovated much I'm more of a builder rather than going in to pre-built sims for EA builds and like renovating it but it's a really fun concept and I would love to do it like I feel like it'd be fun to do as a stream even oh I'm going on about streams too much aren't I what am I like <laughs> um but yeah if you guys would like to see renovations I think that would be so fun because it's kind of like an added challenge especially if you like include a budget in it so like um, there's different types of renovations people do. There's ones where they go in with unlimited money and they kind of like change the whole build to what they want to do. There's others where you have rules, like you can't move the walls um, because they're trying to do it like a realistic renovation, I guess. Like if you were to renovate a house in real life, you don't often change the walls. You're just trying to work with what you have. I kind of like with challenges to be really hard on myself for some reason, like just to add to the stress of it, why not? But like, it's really fun when it's challenging, like you can't move any walls and stuff. So I definitely would like to do something like that and maybe do it on a budget. Like I've been thinking of a series called Building on a Budget where I guess it's separate for the renovation series, but like creating like a base game build or like a certain pack build or a starter home or something, but I have a set budget of what I can spend. And yeah, just add a challenges like that when building, I think would be really fun. So do let me know if you guys would find that fun and interesting to watch and also I'm so open to other games I know I keep saying um there was a few people that wanted me to play War Thunder and I'm just really not into it at the moment I like had a small interest in it at some point and I only really like playing with the planes I don't know why <laughs> I don't I'm not a tank person I feel like I'm not very patient so something as slow moving as tanks and I know some are faster than others depending on like the country and the and the type 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've lost interest in, in War Thunder. Not that I had like a massive one in the first place, but I am open to playing other games for sure. Like if you guys want to see Call of Duty videos, I'm really into Call of Duty at the moment. Uh, that'd be Modern Warfare. But yeah, definitely open for suggestions. So you guys can shoot some suggestions at me if you want to. I haven't talked much about this build at all. I'm really sorry, but I don't want to bore you in telling you every detail of what I'm doing when you can see it happening. Uh, but this was kind of like a really nice soft pastel um bedroom for a teenager or a kid um i guess the teenager one more is a double bed because not many children get double beds it's kind of like a luxury to have a double bed <laughs> i don't know if that's just me i mean I'm, I'm 20 and i still don't have a double bed i'm like saving it i'm like one day i'm gonna get a double bed and i'm truly gonna be an adult <laughs> i don't know why don't even ask um but yeah just going around and adding loads of curtains and stuff and lots of different bits and bobs to make it feel very farmhouse and then i realized i completely forgot this empty room my left downstairs which I made into a cute little study um I feel like I want to make studies and more um sims builds because it's a good place to put loads of activities and kind of skill building things because I don't know sometimes it looks a bit weird when you put skill building stuff all around the house because a lot of them just don't fit in with like swatches of other things and it, they stick out like uh, the archaeology table and even the easels like I guess some of them have nice swatches but I don't know in my opinion they kind of stick out same with like chess boards so a nice little recreational activity slash study room which again I feel like helped this house be a little bit more functional because I guess the aim in building really is for it to look nice and for people to actually be able to use it so you'd actually be able to like level up a sim and actually have them evolve and be able to do stuff because I feel like there's nothing worse than like making a really really cute house in the sims 4 and using all of your household's budget and then realizing wait there's actually nothing really for my sims to do except from fulfill their needs just moving upstairs here and realizing i had a massive space in the corner which i talked about earlier um i just wanted to make it a little seating area but then put a little tv it kind of reminds me one of my cousins um they had like a little it was a separate room but they had like a little kids entertainment room I guess where they had like all of their toys and they also had like a little tv and, and settee in there and it was kind of like that kind of area like if the kids don't want to hang out downstairs with the parents they can just chill in the corridor space in the corner um, and watch tv which is probably really inconvenient having a loud tv in a corridor but you know it's fine some people might have that in their houses probably not in an english house because corridors are never this big <laughs> so then I just added some more little detailings like loads of paintings everywhere went for like some really cute farmhousey kind of paintings by farmhousey I mean there's a landscape that has fields in it or there's a cockerel because in my head that's that's a farm for me in the sims don't know why um but yeah that's why I went off in my head I was like there needs to be one of those little chicken sculptures in the house somewhere and I don't know if I got it on camera but I definitely put it in somewhere in the build and it made me really happy also I found a cute little duck sculpture that I put outside in the garden so I was very happy that was my my like contribution to having animals on this little farmhouse renovation thing <laughs> just some nice little sculptures of definitely not real animals but I guess that counts, right? Yeah, yeah, it counts. What would be really cool if Sims 4 had like a farm pack? I feel like not many people would probably use it, but like kind of a cool concept. I don't know how far you could go. I guess it could be like a self-sufficient off the grid lifestyle contribution, I guess. Like another way to live off the grid because you can make your own food and I guess from... I don't know how, how far would you go? I mean, I'm a vegetarian here and I'm like, oh yeah, let's like make a farm where there's animals to eat. But like, I guess you could do it so you have cows for milk and oh do you, you don't really use milk in the sims though i mean i'm thinking i'm starting to realize why this isn't a pack because it's just not a good idea oh my god this is why I, I will never be hired for sims this nope just not not gonna happen game game changer who nope not not here not over here i've been now working on something really exciting i made the little kind of enclosed crop area where you'd plant loads of things if you played this it'd be really fun to use you could definitely like get rid of the plants I put in there as little placemakers just so it looked like it was functioning and actually plant stuff in there I think it would be so so cool it's a really really cute idea that definitely is not my own but I really really liked it and I thought it'd be perfect for this little farmhouse idea but basically what I tried to do was try and emulate the idea of little mounds and little 
troughs, I guess. <laughs> what words am I even using right now? Basically, ups and downs <laughs> that you would see in a field when a farmer is planting crops. You see this a lot sometimes, especially with like when they grow fruits, I feel like. Like I've seen this before at this little family fruit picking farm that I used to go to a lot when I was younger. And they basically had the little indentations in the land next to the little fruit bushes and shrubs where you could walk in between and then pick your fruit and put it in a little basket. And it was very, very cute. Uh, but that's kind of what I was trying to emulate with the terrain paint. It's okay from a distance up close it looks a little bit questionable and the closest things I could find that look like little growing crop plant shrubby things were these kind of succulent looking plant things I don't know what they're called they kind of look like succulents to me like really massive ones um, and I found some other ones that are slightly different colors just to make it look like some are grown and ripe and some aren't and yeah I think it looked kind of cute in the end I think it's a really cute idea especially if you actually put growing functional crops in there I'm really really tempted to do that next time I have a sim grow stuff just make a little patch of these things enclosed by a little picket fence I think it's it's a really really cute idea I love it also now thinking about it I think James Turner did something similar in like one of his let's plays I can't remember what one. Oh, I think it was his rags to repayment university series when the guy moved out of university he kind of lived in this little trailer thing and then he had a little crop area that kind of looked like this and it had this same terrain paint but I definitely saw a picture on Twitter as well so whoever posted that it was a really cute idea and I really liked it so then just adding loads of little bits of terrain paint everywhere to make it look like there was soil and stuff was growing from it, which is a little trick I picked up in The Sims, which makes it all look a little bit more realistic in my opinion. And then I was looking for this like little wind tower turbine thing, which I was so sure was in The Sims 4, but I'm not sure anymore. I'll find it in like another build. I know it, but like I really wanted it for this build, like a little wind farm tower thing i can't even remember what they're actually called but couldn't find one so i just added like some nice fountains uh and a nice swing set and things like that but that was pretty much it for the majority of the build i just went in and added a few more details off camera particularly just like try to alter the outside like i mentioned earlier because i wasn't like entirely happy with how it looked because it's a very big building and looked a little bit plain but i think it looked really nice so i'm looking forward to you guys seeing the screenshots and i hope you do like it let me know uh i really Really do want to make more builds like this like kind of more adventurous ones with a particular style because it was really fun and kind of challenging trying to stick to the style of what I was building and trying to make it like very functional and having like a specific family in mind and almost like a storyline in that way it was really fun and I really enjoyed it also I would like to do more community lots which I feel like I've mentioned previously but I just feel like you'd be so creative with them and I just haven't built any of them like at all like so I think it'd be really really fun like a nightclub a restaurant you guys name it and I will definitely have a go at building one but if you did like the video do give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments if you enjoyed this build if you liked it and what other videos you would like to see on this channel and do feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Wednesday and Saturday I will hopefully be coming up with some sort of regular streaming schedule so stay tuned for that but if I don't catch you in the next stream I'll see you guys in the next video bye